Next up, Michael Labrax looking for half a million dollars for a 20% stake in his family's spring water concern. That's a lot of money for an entrepreneur who still might be a little wet behind the ears. Hello Dragons, my name is Michael Labrack from Toronto, Ontario. I'm here to offer you what is considered blue gold. I'm asking for $500,000 for an investment that is going to be returning to yourself not only 20% of the profit, but also 20% of the property. This, what you're looking at right here, is what is considered to be probably the largest spring in Ontario. I have owned this property for two years. It was my father's property that I bought off him, and it was my grandfather's property. This spring has really helped my family to survive. We're French people. They were very poor. I have come from nothing. From 16 years old, I lived independently. Next month, I'm turning 30. What I'm asking for is for 20% of the profit from the bottled water company that we're going to create or from leasing the water to another bottled water company or a combination of the two. I have the tests to show that this water is the most pure spring water that would be sold today on the market. Michael wants to bottle his pure spring water or license it to companies such as Coca-Cola. Either way, he'll need a lot of dragon dollars to kickstart his plan. Why don't I just go buy 70 acres of land somewhere for 250 that has a spring on it? Because first, it would be extremely difficult for you to find a piece of property that has a spring, especially for that price. Second, this is the largest spring in Ontario. It produces 600,000 gallons of water per day. It is located only three hours north from Toronto and 10 hours driving distance to a population of 50 million people. It could reach New York, Boston, Chicago within 10 hours. The land, in terms of a proper value, I would estimate it as over $11 million. Let's say I believe you. I believe your water okay. is worth 11 million bucks, which I don't, by the okay. way. But just That's say fine. I did, because I'm a nice guy. Now, I have to go compete with Coca-Cola to get water bottles distributed, okay. where I will be crushed like a cockroach. I have so much water that I could produce I but, get more but, water than that. Michael, you're not being crushed cost. because your your lack of water. I can get it at a cheaper cost. You're being cost. crushed because they have billions of dollars to market it. Nobody gives a damn about the water. It's about the marketing. The Dragons aren't interested in selling spring water. So Michael takes out Plan B, leasing it to a big company. Nestle Canada or any other beverage company, they don't own springs. They lease water off people like myself. Leasing this to a company the going rate is five cents per gallon. The spring, it produces 200,000 gallons of water per day. Five cents per gallon will bring $365 million per year. But show me an order from one that you've talked to that said, love your water, Michael, here's my order. I haven't approached a larger company. You're telling me that. this is a good business, but you don't really know. I do know. But if you know, show me the order. His proposal suddenly springs a leak with Robert, who has no patience for excuses, and Michael seems full of them. And the reason why is because I am a young person. I may not have the prestige or expertise as... Michael, you know what? I got to tell you, that is the biggest load of crap I've ever heard. Everybody my whole life said that to me. I was 22 years old, and I sold a $100,000 system to General Electric. And people said, oh, they're never gonna buy from you. You can't call them up. You know what I did? I picked up the phone, I called the receptionist, and I got a meeting. Pick up the phone, call one, get an order, and then ask for money. I recognize the value of your network, and your network is a very strong network. Everybody yeah. comes in I, here and yeah. says that. You know, Michael, let me tell you another thing. So, you know, I'm an immigrant to this country. I have nothing. Oh, my but, God. Uh, here we go. <laughs> here I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I'm not going to... You know, you know what? It's funny to you, but this is serious to him. Okay. I mean, he's invested his family and everything in it. And I got to tell you, just a piece of advice. People always tell you it's about who you know. It's about your connections. And granted, if you have that, it's easier. But it's also a load of crap. And all it means is you got to work harder than somebody with a privileged life like O'Leary who knows everybody. Just gotta work harder. 
but I am here willing Michael, to give something. You're asking for money to mask your fear of picking up the phone and trying to make a sale. No. For that reason, I'm out. After that smackdown, the other dragons are drained of their last drops of enthusiasm. You are not a real entrepreneur. You are just a guy who has some, who knows what he has. For that reason, I would be out. You should try and sell this to somebody who understands how to deal with it and get out of the business completely. You can't run this. This is not your baby. You can make some calls and stay out of the business. Mm -hmm. Let get the royalty. Be the farmer that's getting the oil out of his ground and getting his check every month. I'm out. I'm really bored by this. This is a lake. I would not even put Kevin's money into it, so I'm out. Mike, listen, listen. Let, let's, let's put a tail on this, and here's what it is. Here's the good news. We don't have to debate with you the value of your land because mm. you're trying to sell it as a commodity called water. It has a value. It's out there. But there's no way in the world you're going to be able to convince me that the option value on your water in a market where it trades as a commodity is $500,000 to 20%. Let it me... could be more, it could be less, but I don't have to even guess that today. And I'm certainly not going to shake your hand on it. So I'm out. We're done. Okay. So what's your opinion of the dragons? To be honest with you, I respect them. They obviously don't understand what the value of water is. And in my opinion, what, I, what I've learned in life is, is judgment is, is always a weakness because their mind is already closed.